try 38th time's a charm. So we have um, a couple marching instruments here. I have uh, the first one I'll be showing is a Getzen Baby contrabass bugle in double G. It has one rotor and one piston, or excuse me, one piston, one rotor. Um, it takes a bass trombone size mouthpiece. Uh, it's got a really tiny bore. It's got a 13 inch bell. It weighs like 12, 13 pounds, something like that. And then the next one will be a King 1141 marching tuba from late 90s, early 2000s. It has a 19 inch bell, 687 inch bore. It's got three piston bells on the right hand and one piston valve on the left hand. So you will, it's like this and like this. You're playing it like this. And everything's on the left hand shoulder. Um, and then I'll be showing you the difference between those tubas and just the bell on my jumbo. So you'll get a good idea on how big these instruments are. So first one, obviously, gets in. Um, Contrabass bugle. Again, I can lift this with one hand. It's a very light instrument. Well, maybe it is. It's a very small, compact instrument. 13-inch uh, bell, only slightly bigger than most euphoniums. Um, bore is smaller than most euphoniums. Uh, it is longer than all euphoniums because it's in G. Um, valves all work as they should. This is using the fourth valve or the fourth valve, sorry, rotor valve, hey, look at that, okay, and then you have a piston valve in the bottom here, uh, obviously you have your tuba mouth pipe there, and I have a Schilke 60 mouthpiece. <laughs> scale earlier today. I've now forgotten it. I'm not going to attempt to play it again. Look, all the slides pull as they should um, because this one is what, somewhere else. I don't remember where all the slides are on this. Oh yeah, this one goes down. Yeah, this one goes down towards the player and comes out as well. Oh god. Um, And then I guess that's oh yeah, then I got a main tuning slide in the back here. Right? Maybe I'm not sure. This whole instrument confuses. It's it's a lot of tubing. It's a small instrument, okay? So like one-handed I can pick this up, it's no problem. So some people I know have converted or have attempted to convert this to like a small instrument, which this is probably perfect for, like a small you know, B flat, like a small F tuba, you can do it somehow. Um, my uh, desire was to convert this to a uh, contrabass trumpet originally, so playing it like, um, playing it like this, so playing it with a, like baritone valves, and I probably had to um, have the bottom bow cut and then the bell flipped out so I could have an extra long trumpet. I think that's what the plan was. No, well, I, I don't know. Um, then more recently I had the idea of converting this to an OTS, over the shoulder Civil War era style, because I have a rotary Chinese baritone with four rotors. I was going to put on this thing and then you'd have essentially the valve body sitting out in front of you like this almost and then the bell would be projecting behind you but like out here you know what I mean and then you have valves up here you you've seen those um, so there's there's that uh, that one's a really nice condition for however old it is I don't know, like 80s or something maybe 
60s, who knows. So the next one is a King 1141 marching tuba. This has a 19 inch bell, 687 valves, four valves. Uh, it's in B flat. It's from early 2000s. This one requires two hands, well, two hands to lift. It's just a heavier instrument. I can't balance that as easily as this tiny little tiny tuba. Obviously you can tell the difference between these two. So. so you have four screws to remove and then this whole section slides out because there's a like small tuning slides even though they're not tuning slides they're just slides um, with some extra thick lanolin on there or something um, and then you have four more removable screws and then the whole valve section drops down one of the inner bows connects to the knuckle on the fourth valve. Um, and again, it's, X it's longer than your standard one because it has a slide on the inside. Sli I say slide, but it's inner tubing and it, it acts like a slide, even though it essentially only serves one purpose. Um, so the whole thing drops down and you can pull it out. Makes for cleaning the valves exceptionally easy. Makes for taking dents out of instruments really easy just servicing the instrument in general. Uh, I have to get four braces repaired on this, or rather resoldered, so I have to take it in and they'll just essentially heat it up, apply some flux, put it back together, you know, press it together lightly, and then let it cool down, and that'll do what it needs. And then I have to have the main tuning slide pulled because it's stuck in there. And this one came from uh, UNCP Music, um, I didn't look up who that is, and maybe it's University of North Carolina something, I don't know what the P stands for, um, UNCP, yeah, I don't know, or maybe it was from a drum corps, I'm not sure, um, the bell is probably the worst thing on this, uh, it looks like it's seen some abuse, Looks like it's maybe been dropped because there's a, a, a tweak in the bell. There's like a something there, and then the uh, there's some pings along where the the bell rim is. The bell rim has that flattened look, like someone was leaning on it when they shouldn't have been. Um, so there's that. So whoa, it has a case. The phone's resting on the case, and then we have obviously. We've all seen me play these things before, the jumbo sousaphone. So you saw how big those instruments are. Again, you have your G bugle, you know, not, not that big, no bigger than really like a sort of longer euphonium. You have your, oh, your concert tuba, you know, your essentially four quarter size concert tuba in marching form. And then you have the biggest thing of all, a jumbo bell, which, you know, a 30 inch bell on this, it's a big thing. Um, it weighs almost as much as my Getson Baby Bugle, but uh, this is a, a, a King Jumbo Bell from the heyday of giant instruments. I mean, you could still do these things and people would buy them. Not saying that they wouldn't buy them now, but they can still buy them. Well, you can still buy them somewhere. People have them for sale. This one is for sale. Um, so that's that's marching instruments of the couple that I have. Uh, there, there you go. Uh, just a quick video on these. All of the instruments you've seen today are for sale at the time of whenever this is. I mean, like a hundred years ago. Who cares? Because well, 100 years from now, nobody's going to, you know, whatever. Um, so there, there you go. Video with tubas. <laughs>